In our first video launching the addition of Max to our team at Fritz Aquatics, I promised you during our last stop at Dallas North Aquarium that we would come back and revive an aquarium to show you how it's done. As promised, we are doing just that. However, we wanted to take this to the next level. Today, we are going to find an old aquarium, revive it, set it back up, resell it at a profit, and ultimately, at the end of this video, give the aquarium away. We have to do all this in under 48 hours to show you it can be done. So sit back and relax, because it all starts now. Good morning, everyone. It's 9.30 a.m. Monday morning, which everyone loves Mondays. And now we have less than 48 hours to go pick up this aquarium, clean it up, sell it, and then give it away. Let's go. Let's make it happen. And you now have to get in the truck. <laughs> what? God! <laughs> the truck door fell off. I don't know what's going on. Good thing Ma Max you didn't have it on film. Oh. All right, guys. Big day today. We got everything packed up. We always forget at least one thing that we need that's critical. Hopefully, we didn't forget everything because trips to Home Depot or Lowe's always make these things take so much longer. We don't have the time. We've only got 48 hours. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. I mean, I was ambitious. I thought, hey, this is not gonna be a problem, but now I'm starting to worry. Now I'm starting to worry that maybe you won't sell it fast enough. Are you counting yourself right now? <laughs> no, I got you skills. You were so confident when we talked this weekend. I've got skills. <laughs> I've done this before. I don't wanna wait, got this money on my brain. And it's nothing I can tame like an animal. Foot above the brakes. All right guys, here we are. It's about 10.45 a.m., which means we have about 46 hours left. We already spoke to the owner. The aquarium looks great. There's some stairs here, which is always fun, but at least it's not on the third floor, so we can just navigate around that quickly, get it loaded up, and be on our way. Max, let's go. Good thing for you, Max, is we only have two people, me and you, and this thing takes two people to carry. So you're gonna have to put that bad boy down, set it up, get your shot, and uh, you're gonna help me. So this piece used to be completely alive. Probably not when the customer got it, but this is an actual skeleton of a wall hammer and that branch is out huge. Now remember this ecosystem is nearly 30 years old. So you see these mushrooms and stuff that have developed over time? That's really cool. These are, these are pieces of coral that took probably decades to grow. I'm gonna take some water now because before I get it all cloudy up and stir up the sand, I'm gonna take some good water from the top because we'll use that to seal it back. Right, guys we're completely out of there we've got the aquarium in the truck we had a live clownfish so we put him in a bucket we're gonna make sure he's completely comfortable when we take him all the way back to Frisco and get him set back up we're done all right guys load it up head it back to Frisco got to get this thing set up quickly start cleaning things up get it listed for sale all right, guys, while me and Max were driving, we had a quick change of plans. We were brainstorming. We thought, what better to sell this than to take it to Dallas North Aquarium where more eyes can see what we're doing. So we're taking the rock out now. We're going to spray it down, get some of the algae off of it, maybe, maybe clean it up with a brush, then set it back up in the front for everyone to see, sell it, and then give it away. Honestly, this is really good stuff. I mean, I was thinking that maybe we should bleach it so that way we can really kind of give everyone, give the the user a clean start, but there is a lot of good stuff on this rock. There's some mushrooms, uh, there is some sponges. Now the sponges probably won't make it because once the sponge hits there, it's done. But um, some nice stuff here, I don't wanna lose. And 30 years obviously of ecosystem, I think that we wanna save some of that, give the user a nice start. <laughs> Guys, we even have John, the owner. One, one thing that John has always done at Dallas North Aquarium is get there and do every single job 
here at the store. I worked here for seven years, and he always worked alongside of me, even on projects like this. This guy's really just brushing off the algae. You know, there's a couple rocks with mushrooms on it. We'll avoid those mushrooms, make sure that they still live. And this tap water won't kill it. Yeah, you see? We have right here a nice mushroom here. I think that's a watermelon mushroom, so that's really cool. All right guys, so this is the rock that was covered in turf algae. We're actually gonna throw a little bleach in here to get rid of all that unwanted stuff. And this is gonna be completely white. Take that, add a little bit of water to it. I would say we ble bleach this for three or four hours and it should do the trick. Let's come and take a look at it. It'll be completely white. And so you'll be able to tell the rocks that have been bleached versus the rocks that still have all the bacteria, all the coralline. You'll see a massive difference in those, but at least this won't have the turf algae that becomes a problem. Okay, these guys, this is the sump. This one's pretty dirty. A lot of salt creep, and salt creep is just what remains after the water evaporates from the salt. So we've got a lot of that, it's dirty. But don't let it scare you away, because you just clean it off, spray it away. Some people may be scared of a, a challenge like this, but if you know what you're doing, maybe just by watching this video, you can do it yourself. of these things you get a myriad of like other things here we have a refractometer or a hydrometer an actual refractometer these are like 50 bucks you know that's a quarter of what we paid for it nice in great shape this is a nice piece of equipment that might be 60 bucks so you've got a heater this is like a 60 dollars and you have your pumps which are actually cleaning now one thing that we need now is we need to pop this thing out and we actually need to use it to clean the aquarium so we're gonna use a little screwdriver here, pop it out. You got this one was a little bent, but we can straighten it back out. We got a scraper. Guys, the tank stand and canopy are clean. Filtration is getting rinsed right now. We almost lost the tank, but we're almost there. We just gotta set it back up and bring it back to life. All right guys, these pumps are super crusty, super dirty. Looking at all of this stuff, you would think it was near over. Uh, Max, come in here, take a look at this. This is just covered in algae and coralline, and so that actually slows the pump down, uh, seizes the impeller. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to dip this in uh, a little product called citric acid. And I've been doing this at Dallas North here for quite a while. You take a little citric acid, maybe about, for this five gallon bucket, we do about a fifth of a cup. And we'll just put it in there and we'll actually turn these pumps on and let them run with the citric acid for only about 30 minutes. And you'll see in about 30 minutes, those pumps will look super good and clean. All right guys, the citric acid bath has been going for about an hour. And you can see, you can see that these pumps, whereas before they were super gross, these are almost like getting close to brand new looking again. And that's gonna alleviate the, uh, the algae and the coralline that has grown and encrusted inside of the pump. And it's gonna make it like work like brand new again. So um, as you can see, all of it just comes sloughing off. And it's really not that hard. Just a little bit of citric acid and a little bit of scrubbing and you're good to go, man. I just think this is looking good. We've already rinsed this sand, so we're not anticipating a bunch of cloudiness. So it should be nice and clear when we fill this thing up. We can turn on the pumps. 
This is fresh salt water. We added the, the tank water back to it, so we're doing about half-half in this, and it should be good to go. We'll add some turbo star to it and kick this thing on. Don't let it ruin. Right, guys we got to put the final touches on this bad boy it's been a big move and a lot of the bacteria was lost uh, we still have quite a bit of it we cleaned the rock we cleaned the sand so a lot of that's been taken out so we're gonna put some turbo start in there and uh, that's gonna put the proper nitrifying bacteria in there so for any ammonia that develops from any breakdown of any excess algaes left over or that clownfish in there that's creating fish waste when we feed them, there's plenty of nitrifying bacteria in there to convert that ammonia to nitrite to nitrate. All right guys, it is 7.30 at night. We've been going at this since about 9.30 in the morning when we left our house. It's been a full day, but out of it, we have a 55 gallon reef tank filled with rock, some coral in there. We've got a clownfish, we've got a complete filtration system. This thing is ready to rock and we've only got one day to sell it. What's up guys? We're here the very next day here at Dallas North Aquarium. It is four o'clock and this aquarium may have sold already. We got called by John. He said he has a family that would like to purchase the tank. We're getting ready to go meet them right now. Let's go check it out. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. I'm Sean. Nice John, to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Josh. So, so what brought you back today? Like why, did, why today? Why did you decide um, to get in the aquarium today? You know, actually uh, today I didn't really imagine um, I would be coming into pick up this tank. Uh, I actually just came in, uh, I've got a little five gallon at home that I was just planning on putting a couple of uh, little plants and then some shrimp. But then um, my mom saw this tank here which for, for 500, you know, just insane yeah. deal, you know, but yeah. then um, it was something that, you know, today just with, you know, my dad, um, he ended up just kind of with the diagnosis. He's, past week, we've found out that he has um, cancer um, in his lung, you know, and that, has been kind of just hard on my family um, and so just kind of one of the main reasons we're looking to you know first a tank like this is because it's something that like my dad can kind of enjoy and look at while we kind of have to I guess go through this time together. I'm so sorry to yeah, hear that. It's, it's, that's not what I mm. honestly expected mm. with this mm. um, but you know mm. this is a, a very awesome thing mm. to have around. It's mm. really cool. You guys can work on it together. Mm -hmm. And you said he was into aquariums as well? Yeah, I, I mean, my dad, it, you know, he's kind of old, but he loves to, to kind of enjoy it with the family. We kind of just, we like to look at the fish, look at the coral together. It's just something that, you know, we all kind of enjoy together, you know? And that, that's the thing, I haven't had a lot of time to, you know, like do a lot of things myself, but just something that I can do with my family, you know, just we're always taking care of one another. Yeah. And it's a big thing for us just to be together. And so something that we can enjoy together, that's really important to my family. If you need anything from me, I know a lot of people in this hobby. I, I can help you get this thing going. Okay, yeah. And I mean, I couldn't think or dream up a better person to take this aquarium. Mm -hmm. It's why we did it was to, because we know situations that are much less rare than this exist mm -hmm. and this is not mm -hmm. really what we expected. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm so glad it's going to you. Mm -hmm. And if you need anything at all, if you need any help at all, just let me know. I'll give you my cell phone number before okay. we leave here today. Yeah. Yeah. You just call me with whatever you need, okay? okay? I okay, mean, yeah. um, I've just been around for so long, mm -hmm. so yeah. I mean, I almost could probably, if I don't know the answer to your question, I'm sure I can get okay. it. We, yeah. can, we can have fun yeah, yeah, this, yeah, right? we can, yeah. And then yeah. I'd love to meet your dad eventually, mm -hmm. and um, just just let him know I'm here for him mm -hmm. as well, yeah. and for your family. So mm -hmm. yeah, you're you're good to go. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah. it's a pleasure meeting you. I can t help take you over and get you paid out, and 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 you're you're good. Mm -hmm. One thing that we had also planned to do. Um, with this video was the uh, the title of it was going to be buying, flipping, and giving away an aquarium we found on the marketplace. So this aquarium actually isn't going to cost you anything. This is a free aquarium. Yeah, I couldn't have thought of a better person. I, this wasn't obviously planned. You guys walked in today, and, and so we had no idea. It's um, something that John. Uh, used to be my boss for so many years and he's he built this massive 
a very successful aquarium store and um, he always does great stuff uh, with in coordination with whatever I'm doing in my life because I used to work with him so um, I brought this right to him and said this was the idea and we had no idea that this was gonna happen so we'll actually get you into the system uh, let me be right back I'm gonna hand this over to John and John if you'll just get him into the system yes, sir. get all their information, all their information. We'll get them buttoned up. yep and I'm gonna go get some some things that I think that you'll want from me because okay. uh, yeah. I'll tell you why here in a minute. Okay. Yeah. All right. So a lot of people in this industry know me as Sean Snails, right? That's my Instagram. And a lot of the videos that I've been on with other YouTubers, people have just kind of nicknamed me Sean Snails. So in that spirit, I had a plan to give whoever got this aquarium about 10 snails from Sean Snails. So here we go. We're going to go grab some. So I've got the snails. All right, guys. On my Instagram, they call me Sean Snails. Right? So I've uh, also gifted you some snails. Okay. So yeah, so those are your snails. Yes. Um, All right. And Thank that you. is your aquarium. And okay. uh, let me give you my cell phone number so you can contact me yeah. for whatever you need going forward. I really appreciate um, just, I guess, I don't know, I guess, I guess, I guess we couldn't have imagined that um, we'd be even taking home a, a tank today, you know, just, and just for my family, it's just going to be something that. We're really gonna enjoy together, you know. It's, it's, well, yeah, I, thank you. I'm so thrilled. I'm mm -hmm. so thrilled that it ended up in y'all's hands, mm -hmm. and I really um, am very sorry to hear about your situation. Mm -hmm. But I'm very happy that you're gonna come home with something that you guys can do together. Mm -hmm. And then again, just reach out to us for anything you need. Yeah. Um, yeah you know, best of best of luck yeah, yeah. <laughs> going, and yeah. just uh, we'll be in touch. Right? Uh, yeah, okay? we'll be in touch. So hey, yeah. you, now you give me a hug. Okay. Man, so. Yeah. All right, dude. Hey, man. Everything's gonna be good. Okay. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna hammer this aquarium home, and right. you know the best of everything to your family. So yeah. thank you. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right, guys. What an amazing experience that Max and I were able to have going, grabbing this aquarium, bringing it back to life, and getting it into the hands of someone that ultimately needed it way more than we could have even imagined starting this video. It was truly an amazing experience. I hope you guys followed along the video and learned what we did and all the steps it took to bring an aquarium back to life in case that's the situation that you're in. Max and I have so many more ideas to share with you, so definitely like and subscribe. And until then, snailed it!